13 days novena to Saint Anthony of Padua. Let us begin the novena for day 10. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious saint, once while preaching at Padua, thou didst find thyself at the same time at Lisbon by a marvelous miracle to defend thy father against calumny and to save him from death. We beseech thee, obtain for us the grace that we may pardon all injuries and love our enemies. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now say the prayer to Saint Anthony to recover lost things. O blessed Saint Anthony, the grace of God has made you a powerful advocate in all our needs and the patron for the restoring of things lost or stolen. I turn to you today with childlike love and deep confidence. You have helped countless children of God to find the things they have lost, material things, and more importantly, the things of the Spirit, faith, hope, and love. I come to you with confidence. Help me in my present need. I recommend what I have lost to your care in the hope that God will restore it to me if it is his holy will. Amen. We shall now say the prayer for a particular intention. I salute thee, great Saint Anthony, and rejoice at the favors which our Lord has so liberally bestowed upon thee. I remind thee especially of the blessed moment when the divine infant Jesus condescended to embrace and fondly caress thee. Oh, what a great happiness and joy must have filled thy heart in that moment. By this special prerogative, then, and by the joy of thy beatific vision, by which thou now beholdest him face to face, I beg, entreat, and conjure thee, O blessed Saint Anthony, to help and assist me in my afflictions, troubles, and anxieties, particularly concerning these. You may now mention your troubles or desires. O, oh, let thy heart be moved to intercede for me, to hear and answer me. Tell our Lord of the wants and necessities of thy devoted client. One word, one sign from thy heart, which Jesus has so much honored, will obtain what I desire, and filled with joy and gratitude, I will proclaim thy power, thereby to honor and glorify him who so blessed thee. Amen. We shall now say 
the efficacious prayer. O blessed Father Saint Anthony, light of doctrine and fire of charity, glory of the Catholic Church, ornament of the holy order of friars minor, martyr in desire, true son and disciple of Saint Francis, shield and defender of his rule and institutes, man of God, imitator of the humility of Christ and master of heavenly wisdom, glorious Anthony, trumpet of the Holy Ghost, ark of the testament and zealous preacher of the gospel, whom heretics could never resist, and whom even beasts and fish obeyed, whom all creatures served, whom tyrants respected, whom cities and people have invoked in their troubles, and have always found propitious and favorable. I beseech thee, my most kind Father and Protector, by the merits of the blood of Jesus crucified, whom thou didst love so dearly, be propitious to me, now that I humbly have recourse to thy kindness. Turn thine eyes towards my soul, and since thou art the founder of things lost, console my affliction, letting me find forever the grace of God which I have so often lost. Comfort, I beseech thee, the weak, help the poor, obtain pardon for sinners, perseverance for the just, and for all men a perfect life, a holy death, and eternal rest. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.